It's easy to assume that the more expensive, higher spec Unify access point is always the right choice. But when it comes to in-wall access points, it really isn't that simple. Hi, Q from Home Network Solutions. And in this video, I'm comparing the U7 Pro wall with the U7 in the wall. I'll quickly cover the key specs, explain why you'd use an in-wall access point and whether or not the higher specs make any real world difference. The U7 Pro wall has Wi-Fi 7 and it's tri-band, so it includes six gigahertz. It's two times two on each radio. It's got a 2.5 gig uplink and there's no pass through ethernet. The U7 in wall is Wi-Fi 7 as well, but it doesn't have six gigahertz. It's two times times two on both bands. It's got a 2.5 gigabit uplink and it's got two times 2.5 gigabit pass through ports, including one PoE. So what's the point of an in-wall access point and should you use one instead of a ceiling mounted AP? The big advantage of in-wall access points is retrofits. In many cases, you can simply swap an existing ethernet wall socket for an in-wall access point with no additional cabling required. With the U7 in-wall and previous Unify in-wall models, you also get ethernet pass-through ports. That's incredibly useful for things like TVs, games consoles, laptops, and even VoIP phones. The U7 Pro wall doesn't have those pass-through ports, but it does gain some nice accessories. The desk stand is genuinely practical, and to be honest, I wish there was one for the standard U7 in wall as well. It also adds a paintable cover and a flush mount option, which makes it a good choice for people who care about aesthetics as well as performance. But are in wall access points better for Wi-Fi than a ceiling mounted model? Honestly, no. If I have the option, a ceiling mounted access point will almost always be my preferred choice for coverage. So I have to say, despite the higher specs of the U7 Pro wall, the loss of the pass through ethernet ports do make it less attractive for me. But now what we really need to know is do those higher specs make any real world difference to your Wi-Fi speeds? For this test, I'm using a 160 megahertz channel on six gigahertz on the U7 Pro wall and 160 megahertz Hertz channel on 5 gigahertz on the U7 in wall. Same location, same phone, same network. And the results, download speeds were more or less identical. So now let's add a wall and see if it makes any difference. Looking at the planning tool, it still shows decent coverage in the next room, but this is a double brick cavity wall, so you'd expect it to take a fair bit of power out of the signal. As you can see, it definitely does. What surprised me slightly is that I expected the six gigahertz connection to suffer more here than it actually did. So if you're wondering, yes, I did try the MLO, but unfortunately it didn't make any real difference. I completely accept that these tests are very basic and I'm just using an iPhone 16, so there's definitely limitations of the device itself. However, this is what most people are going to be doing, so I think it's a valid real world test. So, to wrap this up, the choice here isn't really about which access point has the better specs, it's about how you're installing it and what you actually need from it. For me, the U7 wall makes more sense in a traditional in wall install, whereas the U7 Pro is more of a specialist option. Hopefully, this video helps you choose the right one for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you next time.